Hey there, racing fans! Have you seen the latest SRX action? Let me tell you, Tony Stewart is making waves. Tony's race took some unexpected turns, like when he was in the lead early on and when he had to face some very tough tasks. But what's causing all the chaos on the track? You won't believe how the aggression is ramping up. Plus, we've got Tony's take on it all, which you won't want to miss. So join us on NASCAR Zone as we explore the world of SRX with Tony Stewart. But before we dive into that, do subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. In the latest Camping World SRX series, race at Pulaski County Motorsports Park, drivers faced a challenging event, marred by crashes, while Kyle Busch emerged as a winner, marking his debut race in the series. Stewart and Andretti started on the front row for the main event. Stewart got off to a quick start and took the lead, leaving Andretti behind in turn two. Kisilowski also made a move, taking the second position away from Andretti on lap two. Meanwhile, Bush was making some good progress, passing Labonte and moving up to fifth place by lap six. Tracy followed suit and overtook Labonte for the sixth position on lap eight. Around lap 14, a competition caution was called, and the field lined up for another restart, with Stewart and Keselowski at the front again. Once more, Stewart managed to clear into turn two. Then, on lap 23, Bush and Castroneves had a bit of a bump in turn one while battling for fourth place. Lap 29 saw Bush making a move to take the second position from Andretti. Unfortunately, the caution flag flew again, this time due to debris from Andretti's car on the track. Lap 46 provided some exciting three-wide racing action with Castroneves, Newman, and Andretti. But Andretti had to back out, losing nine positions in the process. On that same lap, Kisilowski took the lead from Stewart. Lap 53 brought some drama as Bush bumped his way past Stewart, taking the second position. Four laps later, Bush tried the same move on Kisilowski, but this time, it resulted in Kisilowski spinning toward the outside retaining wall, causing the third caution of the night. After the restart, it was Bush and Stewart at the front, and Bush cleared Stewart into turn two. Then, on lap 73, the fourth caution came out, and once again, Bush cleared Stewart off turn two during the restart. On lap 79, Boyer was battling for second position, and he successfully cleared Stewart for that spot. However, things got a bit chaotic on lap 82 when there was an on-track incident between Newgarden and Castroneves. Castroneves ended up colliding with Levant, and Andretti spun after trying to avoid the incident. That led to another caution. Boyer decided to take the bottom at the restart and started in third position. Bush wasted no time and cleared Stewart early into turn one, while Bowyer and Stewart were battling it out for the second spot. But then, lap 89 brought the big one. Tracy, Newgarden, Schrader, Deedian, and Andretti got caught up in a massive incident. It all started with Tracy running hard in turn four, causing him to wash up the racetrack and collide with Newgarden, sending him into the outside retaining wall. Unfortunately, Schrader got caught in the chaos as well. Thankfully, Deegan and Andretti were able to keep going and finish the race. After the restart, Bush once again cleared Stewart off turn two, giving himself a nice lead of about five to six car lengths. Bowyer managed to clear Stewart with just four laps to go. The final caution came out on lap 97 when Andretti spun over the nose of Deegan due to a mechanical failure in the right front of his car. With a green-white checkered finish on the horizon, Boyer chose the bottom and started in third position once again. But he was on fire and managed to clear Stewart with just two laps to go. From there, it was smooth sailing for Bush as he secured the checkered flag. Bush acknowledged that the incident with Keselowski might have been influenced by the absence of spotters. Incident with Brad, is that a byproduct of just no spotters here? Yeah, a little bit of that. I mean, I, I don't know if he knew I was there or didn't didn't know I was there or what or what, but um, you know, just I had a nose in there and I was like, I'm here, you know, and I got in next to his door and um, he came down, we made contact, you know, so um, definitely a product of spotters and you know, also I was just always kind of checking my mirrors to see where guys were and what they were doing around me uh, to make sure that I wouldn't put myself in a spot like that. Regarding the platform in the car, 
Bush expressed his thoughts on the race at the Pulaski County track. Yeah, um, you know, it was a little bit tough today, probably for some side-by-side -side action. I hope Berlin's a little bit more uh, uh, inducive to that. Um, this track here has just always been bottom. It's always been kind of that bull ring type racetrack where you're always shooting for the bottom. So, um, you know, I've watched races here, but uh, this is my first race here. So kind of knew what to expect, but, you know, it was all around a good race. Um, our, I wasn't too thrilled with the car, how it was driving in, in, in the heat race. We made some good adjustments to it for the feature, though. Clint Bowyer who finished second in the main event, was asked if he ever considered trying the outside line. For you. Did you ever think about trying the outside just to see what it would do? Oh, you know I did. I, I just, you know, I knew. Uh, I made that mistake in Stafford, actually. I, I went for it out there and tried. And Here, I was too tight on the outside every single time I tried it earlier, you know, in the heat races and everything. And, you know, you got to stick with what got you there. Um, I tried to get a better restart and he kind of you know Jimmy Jack to start up a little bit which he should have and and um, I didn't get better you know as good a start um, the other thing is, is he was moving Stewart up pretty hard on those starts I knew you know it was going to take some crazy restart to be able to get that done anyway um, at the end of the day it's Kyle Busch in front of you you know I, I honestly think if we'd have had 20 laps green I, I could have you know had something for him I was had a good line going, the car was rotating good, and you know, I, I wasn't having to push it for whatever reason. I couldn't believe it, anybody else didn't try it because I just I, I found a groove down there. Uh, as long as I could be by myself or I could arc it in a little bit, I could hook that apron and really roll. That's what was hard with Tony being on my outside. It kind of forced you down there too soon, and I couldn't really, you know, hook it very well. Um, once I got clear of Tony, I could, you know, get it on pretty good, but. I don't know, I had fun, um, cars in one piece, which that was the goal. We got a butt chewing from last time. Right. So no one listened. This thing is, I think they can race it. That's what it's all about. You passed that guy like four times to each restart. I know it. How hard is that? It's Tony damn Stewart. Passing, say it again, I want to hear it. How many times I passed Four times I Four think. times yeah. I passed Tony Stewart? <laughs> Felt good. Thanks. Tony Stewart, who finished third in the main event, reflected on the past races and the adjustments they made to his car. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, you know, the first week we uh, we had an issue and dropped down, and last week we, uh, or I, I should say, I I didn't do a very good job crew chief in my own car. So, better race car driver than a crew chief, but uh, thought we made the right changes last week, and, and I think hindsight we learned from it, made it different adjustments this week to compensate kind of for the same thing but did it a different way and it definitely responded to it so um, was happy with the changes just uh, you know for some reason every caution I just got tighter and tighter in the center of the corner on the restarts and couldn't get the front end to come back so we just got to keep working at it we'll uh, we got one more pavement race and uh, then we get to my favorite part we get to run these things on dirt again so uh, I'm looking forward to going to Berlin Berlin's a really cool technical racetrack and then uh, you know obviously Eldora and, and uh, Lucas Oil and Wheatland that's going to be a lot of fun to run those two dirt races. Tommy Stewart had a clear view of the incident between Kyle Busch and Brad Keselowski on the track. When asked if it was a result of not having spotters he agreed that it was indeed a significant factor. Yeah that's I mean honestly that's really what it is. Um, you know, we, we need to work on our window nets a little bit to make the side mirrors a little more effective. It's there's the very front part of the window net kind of blocks the center of that that uh, mirror, so it makes it a little bit harder. But um, yeah, I mean, when you're when you're looking in the corner and you're aiming for your mark, if somebody gets under there, it's hard to see them sometimes. So uh, you know, it's that's just a product of uh, what. When you run these things on this small of a racetrack, that's, that's what you're going to have happen. So uh, wasn't. I don't think Brad knew he was there. Uh, Kyle definitely had his nose under there, but it's just uh, you know, a place like this where you're running this fast on this short a track, it's easy for that to happen. You told the guys today no more carnage, and they kind of ramped it up. <laughs> Is no one listening? Uh, you wonder. Um, there's a handful. There's a, there's a majority that do, and then there's a very small majority and a small handful that just can't seem to figure it out. So uh, we'll get through this year. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see more of our videos on NASCAR updates. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.